Hey there, everybody. Pastor Chris Broadman Baptist Church. <laughs> pastor Rick. I was thinking about my friend Chris, who, who was the pastor before. This is Pastor Rick, uh, and it is the Broadman Word for December 20th, 2023. And today, I want to talk to you uh, about being made holy. A little more specifically, made holy through sacrifice. It's from uh, Hebrews 10.10 10 is the ideology, but I want us to think in terms of today um, how our minds and memories work and what the reality is of a relationship with Jesus Christ. We do things, and for some reason we don't understand why occasionally we do what we do. Paul even asked the question, why do I do what I you know, do when I know I shouldn't? And I'm sure you all remember that scripture. And it's the same with us. Um, and then there's sort of this de facto record of wrongs that we carry around with us for some reason. And we tend to let these things affect how we view each other, how we view ourselves even. And uh, it can get in the way of um, our relationships with Jesus. It can get in the way of our relationships with other uh, worldly beings. And so uh, it then diminishes our ability to do what we really need to do. And that is be the ambassadors of the gospel of Christ. Jesus doesn't have uh, a record of wrongs. In reality, on the judgment seat someday, you're going to have to have a conversation with him. And none of us really know how that, how that goes. But um, we do know that your life is being evaluated. But scripture tells us, once forgiven, whatever it is, is as far as the east is from the west. In Hebrews 10.10, 10, listen to this, to kind of put it in Jesus' perspective for you. Uh, and by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ, once for all. So there is no losing your holiness. There is no... Um, you know, retraction of the grace or your salvation. It is once for all. Christ died once for all. And so we all have the ability to be forgiven. We shouldn't let past um, aggressions or transgressions against Christ um, or the gospel uh, hold us back in any way or create any sort of feelings within us. It shouldn't cloud our vision. It shouldn't block our way forward uh, because um, Christ died once for all. Uh, and that meant you. And so uh, you have that with you. And you're victorious now because Christ was victorious over the earth, even victorious over death. You live now in Christ Jesus, as a believer anyway. And so you share in that victory too. You've, you've gained victory over this world. Um, this world only has at the end um, no eternity. It will die. The people in it will die. The things in it will die. Uh, there is only at the end of the world death. You won't as a believer. You have eternity because you have that eternity in Christ Jesus whom you now live in the spirit of. So, um, we need to put behind, particularly this time of year when we're in Advent, and we're not just looking back at what happened celebrating the birth of Christ, but we're looking forward, uh, Adventus, we're looking forward uh, to what could be, what is coming for us, the day of the Lord. And so we have no use for things that have happened. We have no use for muddled pasts or grief over losses or lost things. 
uh, it's not it's not good for us. It doesn't do anything to move the the kingdom forward, or it doesn't do anything to move you along on your walk with Christ. So I want to encourage you today to have a slightly less humanistic view of the things that you may have done, how you might have grown up, what kind of adulthood you've had so far, what, um, I guess, departures from your walk you may have had. And things like that are really not particularly useful, except to remember that you were forgiven of it and that you now have repented and you're going a different way. That is where you find your strength to move forward, uh, regardless of who you are or what's been done. Anything else is going to just muddle things up, get in your way, be a block. You may even let it become a great big block. And of course, that's not what God wants for you. That doesn't help the gospel of Christ any. It just slows it down. And it could distract you and get you thinking that maybe you're not worthy of all this and all that kind of humanistic nonsense. Let me save you some time. You are worthy of Christ's love. Everybody is worthy of Christ's love. And it's free and it's available and it can take your past and make it not so important uh, and allow you to move forward. Otherwise, your past might drag you down. So listen, I love you. I want you to move forward today. Uh, get rid of any thoughts that you might have had about things you've done in the past or things that you might be doing right now. Uh, take it to the cross. That's the only place it can be dealt with. Take it to the cross and leave it there. Let Jesus handle it. You take care. I hope you're having a marvelous day in the Lord. I'll talk to you next time.